What's up guys, welcome back to another tutorial. We are back in Vegas Pro 15. So right now I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to do a pan and crop in Vegas Pro 15. So I just have this video right here of the stars uh, moving in the night sky. Uh, say I want this to pan across. You want to go over here to this little button. That's like these, looks like a square with lines coming out. Um, it's called the event pan and crop. Click on that and then it brings up this little window. Uh, after it loads, uh, I like to make it a little bit bigger so it's easier to see. And then I just bring it out of the way. Okay, so once you're here, you can see the actual video right here. And to zoom in and out, you this uh, zooms out and then bring it in, zooms in. Or you could just use the things over here, which is angle and then X center, Y center. So you can get it perfect if you need to. So what you need to do is go down here and make sure this is uh, clicked because that makes it syncs the cursor with the keyframes down here and it syncs it uh, with the timeline. This makes it really helpful for when you're doing pans and crops. So what you want to do is zoom in a little bit uh, so it can actually move without like just being black bars. And then I drag it to like where the like the action is happening. And then right here I made the first keyframe. Um, and then I usually go to the end of it. If I'm doing like a full, up, if I'm doing a pan of a full clip, I just go to the end of it and I go in one keyframe so I can actually see, which is just the left arrow key on the keyboard. Then I usually bring this down here to like the opposite side, and then like you can either zoom in a little bit or like zo keep zooming out so it like zooms out, and then bring it over to the corner. Uh, then click X. Then you can just watch it back to see if it's like what you like. And you can see the trees right here moving. So yeah, this is a very simple video. Uh, there's not much to it. So I hope you guys like this video. Make sure you like and subscribe. And turn on the push notifications. So you can actually see when I upload. And you can get all the new tutorials. So I'll see you guys next time.